King Von and KI's first interaction on Twitter was around September the 25th, 2012, with King Von alluding to an incident where he'd apparently beaten up KI on a train. KI would reply that she'd only suffered minor injuries compared to the ops who she'd hit with 40 caliber bullets to the face. KI the next day suggests that she shot up Von or someone he knew the very next day. He then replied, questioning whether KI is a gangster or a bitch, questioning her role in the gang war as she was a female, with her replying, putting it on Tuka's life that she was indeed a gangster. As mentioned previously, KI's struggles with her gender identity was indeed a big challenge to her, and comments like this from Von likely cut deep. Four days later, King Von would ask KI why she was shouting out her hood as he never saw her when he was searching for ops in the area, and KI would reply saying that Von could die like White White, a friend that Von saw get gunned down and would later rap about on his song called Demon, saying witnessing this murder is what turned Von into a demon. Now this comment would anger Von so much that he threatened to kill KI and said that she better kill him first if she wants to live. Strangely, he then replies to KI claiming that she needs some D, possibly indicating that he wanted to sleep with her, and again prodding her with a personal jab that struck right at the heart of her sexuality. Judging by Von's personality and antics in his life, it's possible that he actually admired KI and respected her killer reputation. But on the other hand, Von was always a massive troll. Now KI would sternly reply to him saying F you, but maybe Von wasn't trolling. That same day, KI asked her followers to retweet if they think she looks good, and Von retweeted it. The next month, KI would make a tweet claiming that she had beaten up Lil Scud from Oblock, and she says that someone should let Von know that she was tough and wasn't someone he should be messing with. King Von would respond to this, saying that he thought she was tough and that he actually liked her. Although after hitting on KI, Von doubted that she really beat his friend up, which prompted KI to say that when she beat up Lil Scud, he didn't even claim his hood Oblock when she pressed him. King Von's sister, Kayla B, then chimed in on the conversation, claiming to have been present during the fight, and she says that it was her that told Scud not to say where he was from to not further instigate any violence in the situation. She then said that KI didn't beat him up, but also somewhat attempted to neutralize the situation by saying that everybody knew KI wasn't a lame nor someone to be messed with, with KI calling Scud a bitch and making fun of him for not even punching her back. All of this would lead King Von to really see just how wild KI could be and causing him to say that he thought he was falling in love with her, with KI responding simply, gay ass. Now, I know this seems like a joke, but this is actually quite interesting. Because if KI is calling Von gay for liking her, perhaps this is a sign that at this point, KI was actually identifying as a man. Or perhaps Von's comments about finding her attractive really cut KI deep, as perhaps she felt that she had to abandon her feminine identity to fit in with her gang members. But it's also possible that beneath this facade, KI did long to be wanted by someone like Von, who was considered to be one of the more handsome members of the opposing gang. Uh, that's a big no-diddy on that one. But anyway, judging by Von's reply, it's safe to assume that he was indeed trolling at this point, as he would go on to call her wifey, later promising to treat her right. Now, KI seemed to actually get a kick at the concept of hooking up with someone from the opposition's hood and just tweeted LMAO at this wild turn of events. Now, Von would use this instance to start regularly referring to KI as his wifey and getting playful responses from KI as tweets went by, with Von also saying that he has KI on his mind a lot and that he even told his sister that he eventually wanted to marry her. Many years later, someone on the anonymous image messaging board 4chan claimed to have hacked KI's private DMs on Twitter. And if you line it up with this timeline of events, it seems that Von really did ask KI if she wanted to hook up in the private DMs. Although it's pretty clear that KI would have every reason to be paranoid about Von's true intentions, with KI asking Von straight up if he wanted to kill her and Von letting KI know that there were in fact people from his area that did want her dead, but he wouldn't do that to her because he thought she was cool as hell. Von then asked her if she would ever stop gangbanging, to which she replied, never. She then asked Von the same thing, where he said he would probably die living this lifestyle, and she said she was thinking the same about herself. Now, an exchange like this really shows their odd compatibility and relatable mindsets that could have actually caused Von to maybe feel like he really related to KI. I mean, they're a match made in heaven. Just imagine a different timeline where KI and Von ran off into the sunset together catching bodies state to state like true romance. But anyway, KI would also tell Von that the Ops must have thought pretty highly of her threat level if they were so obsessed with trying to kill her. And Von would reply, saying that they weren't just thirsty for her, but they were more looking to kill anyone in general. But he did think of killing her when he saw her once, but the police were nearby. Von would go on to explain if he really wanted KI dead, he would have shot her on the train when he beat her up, because he actually did in fact have his gun on him that day. With KI responding that it was pretty much on site now that he'd admitted that he thought of killing her previously, and that she was STL or die. Now Von seemingly didn't think she'd respond to his statement so seriously and asked her why she was acting so tough all the time, but at the end of the day, KI thought Von was an op from the other block, so there should be nothing else he should have expected. This left each of them anger at each other, with them publicly 
tweeting insults in one another's direction. Von then began to relish in the online beef, while Ki seemingly wanted to take things outside to be settled in the streets. With Ki saying she was on her way, when Von made a remark that he had his op scared at a corner store, as well as tweeting him days after, clearly letting him know that she was looking for him, saying, where you at? More leaks of Twitter DMs would emerge from October the 14th, just one day after the death of Modell McCambry, with Ki trying to get revenge and find someone from Oblock. Now this is incredibly personal when you consider the fact that Modell was one of Ki's ex-boyfriends, and along with the rumor that it was King Von who was personally responsible for killing Modell. Ki would want revenge, and she was on Twitter begging someone to come outside. Ki would poke fun at Oblock, saying, y'all just got one, referring to Modell, and now you're just gonna hide indoors for the rest of the month? And she would even attempt to set up an agreed upon dual style shootout right out of a Wild West film. Ki would invite Von and his partner in crime, the notorious Oblock killer T-Roy, to come outside. Ki later that day would claim that she and her people walked all over Oblock looking for them and didn't see a soul. Von would then respond basically saying that they were too busy right now, but would go and find her and her people sometime later. Ki would say that Von was scared and Von would just laugh it off. A few days later, Von would DM Ki, telling her he would only meet her if she would wear a dress and let her hair down, because as he put it, it would be worth risking his life to maybe get a piece of that. Again, this was just another foul message that showed that Von was really willing to hit Ki where it hurt and use her sexuality and gender to try and draw her out and offend her. Now, Ki and Von would go back and forth publicly after that, building up an insane beef. Ki would tweet that she was going to the store and Von would tell her not to, but she would say that she never sees him when she goes out anyway. Von would remind her that he did in fact see her when he beat her up on the train, with her saying he's been hiding ever since. He said maybe every time she goes to his area looking for him, he's gone to her area looking for her. And she would remind him of the time two years prior when FBG Butter had apparently beaten Von up on the bus. People from Oblock would chime in saying that they'd kill her and making fun of her for being masculine. She would say she wanted to see Von face to face and he would say, no Kyra, you really don't. On October the 29th, 2012, Von would famously tweet that he's not been hanging with his best friend T-Roy because T-Roy had accumulated too many bodies on the streets and Von needs to catch up on murders to match his friend kill count, tweeting, give me till Friday. And then the very next day, Von would allegedly murder a rival by the name of P5 or Crack from Jaro City. Word on the street was that King Von and O-Block J Money had carried out the murder according to FBG Duck's mother. J Money killed Crack? Cause Crack was our best friend! Days after the murder of P5, KI started beefing with J Money as she likely heard the same rumors as to those two being responsible, with J Money clapping back, calling KI a gay bitch and with Ki dissing Jay Money's dead friend Sheroid, and Jay Money would go on to diss Ki's deceased ex Model 2. Ki would later tweet that she needed a lift to the funeral of P5, and Von would mockingly tell her to take the bus. Von at this point made it pretty obvious on Twitter that he had participated in the murder of P5, and was now straight up mocking the ones who were mourning the loss. But then, the next day, King Von would claim that he was trying to get Ki on the phone all day, and that he thought her voice was sexy. Even after Von went to jail in 2013 for unlawful possession of a firearm, Von's sister would reach out to Ki on Von's behalf, because apparently Von wanted to invite Ki to visit him in jail. Von's sister really attempted to show Ki that his attempts were genuine in these tweets. Whilst Von was in jail, Ki would be spending her time reminding people that her and her members from 63rd were indeed upping the score, feeding into rumors that at this point she and her friends had bodies in the double digits. Von's sister would get frustrated at this point, reminding Ki of a time they had apparently fought and Ki pulled Von's sister's hair and when Ki fired a gun, all she did was shoot in the air. Von's sister had clearly had enough of Ki at this point as she said that she would see her again sometime on 63rd. Just a few months later in 2013, Ki would take to Twitter to show that she was bloodthirsty and possibly broadcasting her next body. And just one day before the death of Jerome J Money Wood, she would show her eagerness to catch a body on Twitter, asking who she should slide on. Now J Money was a beloved O-Block member, as well as being affiliated with Lil Durk's OTF crew and the wider BDs or Black Disciples. He was a popular fixture in his area and beloved by many of the most famous and serious street players. In the early morning of September the 2nd, 2013, Ki was also coordinating with a few others on Twitter, so we know she was likely hanging out with a group of people and didn't act alone. On that day, September the 2nd, 2013, Ki would tweet that she was looking for an op in traffic. She claims that she was ready to slide and then ends up being possibly present for the murder of J Money, as J Money would be shot in the head and killed on the afternoon of Monday the 2nd of September 2013. And in the early morning of September the 3rd, 2013, before she likely even went to sleep, Ki was tweeting that somebody was sent to shoot her and now the BDs have a dead driller using the hashtag BDK for Black Disciple Killer. 
But during Von's time in jail through 2013, KI would be seen online dissing Oblock and celebrating her revenge at the deaths of OD and J Money, and saying that J Money had dissed Tuka and now he's dead like OD Perry. While the violence was playing out in the streets, the authorities were always one step behind, but police did indeed have it out for KI and her friends. KI's mother would even say in an interview that the police once picked up Jakaira and made her get out of the car in the middle of O Block. Yeah, they dropped her off in um, O Block before. They literally like picked her up off the block with a road around for a minute, but when they let, they took her in old block and they told her get out the car. And she like, man, I'm not getting out in here, ooh, 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 you know, and they made her get out. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know what I'm saying? They knew she ain't had nothing on her because they searched her before she got in the car. And um, she like, I'm not finna get, so she ended up getting out. So once she got out, you know what I'm saying? She, I ain't gonna lie, she took off. She took off running back to the block. Pretty much replicating that famous scene from the beginning of GTA San Andreas, where Officer Tenpenny throws CJ out of the police car in the middle of the hood of their rivals, the Ballers. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. But KI was becoming somewhat of a legend in Chicago at this time, and her reputation was certainly beginning to spread. KI was even reportedly offered money to do hits during this time, adding credibility to her Twitter handle, Taekwon Assassin, a name that she apparently took after the murder of her little cousin Taekwon. According to DMs which later leaked, she was asking for $10,000 up front to kill the Chicago rapper G Herbo, known then as Lil Herb, with her boasting in these DMs about other hits she may have done, saying how it should be known that she doesn't play around. And the playing customer confirmed that she had been a part of the hit that killed O.D. Perry before she got paranoid and asked him to delete the DMs. When King Von was released from jail in 2014, he would tweet at KI asking if she'd missed him, with her responding, when are we meeting up, along with four gun emojis. Von would express disappointment that KI never visited him in jail. Now this was one of the first things he actually did when he got out of jail. He tweeted her twice before he'd even tweeted Chief Keef or any of his other friends. And KI would get to immediately boasting about the death of Jay Money, saying how does it feel to lose a homie while you were locked up, even going as far as to retweet King Von's RIP. PJ Money tweet the next day. It seems that KI almost wanted to confess to Von that she had a hand in the killing, saying she wished she could dig up Von's friend and shoot him again, kind of admitting to the murder. But Von would slap back, saying rest in piss to Crack and Modell, with Von tweeting days after about how he would no longer be forgiving ops, even if they were females. Von clearly had enough of bantering with KI at this point, as well as tweeting about how he wanted to catch a female op with gun emojis. He wanted to let it be known that KI was now his biggest target, and Von and KI would tweet at each other much less in 2014, possibly to reduce the paper trail for when they would finally run into each other in the streets. But Von would go on to tweet much more vaguely about wanting to catch female ops, and it would almost seem as if they were still reading each other's Twitters because they would tweet very similar insults towards each other on certain days. Sadly, just one month later, the beef between King Von and KI would finally make it past the computer screen. But in the midst of all this madness, KI would suffer once again a major loss of one of her closest friends, but this time at the hands of the police, not rival gangsters.